Hi, it's Larry Gaines, and this is the Daily Aftermarket Outlook for Monday evening, May the 20th. I thought I'd start off with the currencies today. Um, you can see that the yen kind of had a little bottoming uh, pattern here. So it's, you know, not a, a huge move, but when you look at the 60-minute time frame, it did have a nice little gap up and then a pop to the upside. On our trading model, it's... Um, very close to going long on the daily time frame and the intermediate term time frame the 60 minute currently is long on the yen so with the yen pushing higher uh, that's affected the US dollar and we had a pullback on the dollar today so you can see here's today's bar right here the red bar so it came down you can see here on the 60 minute time frame sell off going in and the close now with this pull pullback on the dollar, we did get a, a nice little pop today on gold. So you can see gold had a real solid push to the upside, a lot of short covering. The um, numbers came out from the CFTC showing that uh, it was a record short interest on gold contracts. So there were some huge moves today on gold. Uh, we actually caught some really fantastic moves. Uh, one of our members uh, on this move right here made uh, $1,600 just on that one move right there on you know it just exploded to the upside um, so we had some really great gold setup trades here today so it'll be interesting to see if, what the fall through if any is tomorrow we're right back to the 25 percent retracement level right here so we have the low that was back on the um, 16th of April and that low was made at 132150. We did not make a new low today. Came down, tested it, but no new low. And our cycle model is, like I said, neutral on the uh, medium term and very close. If we have another update tomorrow, it'll be going long uh, on the medium term daily time frame. So that was a, a look at gold. Here's crude oil. Uh, crude oil also caught a big lift to the upside uh, based on. Uh, partly on the dollar and technical uh, levels. Uh, our medium term time frame, the trend is up and the trend right now, uh, we've had it up on the long term time frame, the weekly as well. Uh, we currently still have a uh, volatility squeeze going on with the monthly time frame, so potentially a really tight band. If this thing can trigger to the upside, it could have a, uh, a bigger push uh, and fall through to the upside based on a possible squeeze being triggered. We're still watching that on the monthly time frame. So here's the uh, looking at the equities today. Pretty much a uh, kind of a sideways day. You can see the range had open and closed right at about the same level. Um, so this is kind of a doji candle, starting to get a little bit um, a little bit of a stall here. So very close to our system actually going short uh, on the Nasdaq on the medium term time frame. So we could get uh, be setting up for a pullback. Bernanke's going to be talking Wednesday, so uh, we'll see. Probably get some uh, profit taken tomorrow going in ahead of the uh, Bernanke speech or speaking to the House. And so I'm looking for a pullback here into the 8 EMA, right about 29.98. Uh, so that's the NASDAQ. Um, here's the S&P futures. A little bit stronger on the S&P futures, but you know, very narrow, not a very wide range day as far as trading. Uh, you can see it's you know a little bit overbought here on the RSI's. Here's transports. So the uh, transports had a little bit of a pullback today as well. Um, you know, made a new high actually, and then um, came down towards the close of the day. So still, you know, in a pretty solid uptrend. Still looking pretty good, but did have a little bit of a pullback there towards the close. And here's the Russell. Russell still showing some good strength here. You know, another follow through update on the Russell. And take a look at the bonds. So the bonds, you can see really uh, another down day on the bonds. So this is definitely going to be an influence to help the equities to the upside so bonds are still showing weakness 
So uh, what I'll be looking at tomorrow, and also Google, I wanted to show you Google. Um, so Google looks like it's starting to top out a little bit here. We are, you know, we had that kind of a doji on Friday, and then today you can see it was a down day. Came in and uh, made a new high, but then closed lower. So I'm looking for Google to start uh, pulling back a little bit um, and pulling back into this 8 EMA. And then you've got this gap fill, so potentially maybe into filling that gap at, you know, somewhere around 888, 889. Uh, and I did put on a, a bear put spread today. I, I did the um, June expiration, June 7th. Um, I did the 900 puts, 890 put spread, so I'm long the 900 puts expiring June 7th and short the 890 at $3.70. So it's a $10 spread, so we'll see what happens. I'm looking for this to pull back into this uh, 8 EMA and maybe even fill that gap if we get a little bit of more momentum to the downside. So I hope this helps and I'll talk to you tomorrow after the close.